Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to Faith Budgets. On this channel, I'll be posting videos about how we use the zero-based budget, sinking funds, cash stuffing, and savings challenges to pay off our last debt and save at the same time. If that's content that you're interested in, then please keep watching and definitely hit the subscribe button and join us on this journey to financial freedom. Okay, so welcome back. This will be our uh, my first um, budget with me since, <laughs> well, I did one and I combined it with my cash stuff and for last week, but uh, this will be the first one that I do full uh, walkthrough with you guys for a budget by paycheck. Um, if you're new, welcome. My name's Holly and my husband and I are on a journey to uh, be not really become... I don't really debt free anymore because we have debt, but we just want to become more responsible with our money and more intentional with uh, with the extra money that we make. You know, we're making some overtime, so we just want to um, plan better for our money and have better goals for the what we want our money to do for us. Um, I'm a full time coder. I'm a medical coder. I've been uh, coding for twenty plus years. I work from home. And I've been getting some overtime lately. My husband works in utility services, and he actually is getting some really good overtime these these last few weeks. And uh, we're trying to put that towards uh, uh, extra money to go down on a, a newer SUV because I am selling my old SUV to get a newer one. Not anything brand new or anything like that, just something a little newer to me, a little bit more reliable. And... Uh, it wouldn't need as many repairs down the road. Um, we're looking at a Honda. No, not a Honda. I did look at some Hondas. Uh, Toyota Highlander. That's what we're looking at for right now. I have a Yukon Denali. So I, I, I wanted another Yukon, but those are really, really expensive. So I'm going to go and check out the Toyota Highlanders. I think I like those. I like the Forerunners too, but uh, I'm going to drive both and kind of see which one... I like, I guess, the inside and how it drives and all that good stuff. So, and hopefully it'll be cheaper on gas too, because my the one I have now is a Yukon, and it has the big motor in it, and it is it drinks the gas. So, hopefully we'll have a that'll help with our gas bill too, when we do our long trips with travel ball or with you know vacations or when we go out of town we would go in the in the SUV. So hopefully that would help with that too in my doctor's visit. So. Um, my husband and I have three kids. My I have two sons, and my husband has a daughter. My oldest son just graduated the uh, University of Tennessee in May. Um, if you want to check out my, I think it was my debt tracking Thursday. It was kind of an update video, kind of going over everything that happened in May. My youngest son also graduated high school in May. So we had two graduations there, and uh, we had a wedding. We had some medical issues, uh, just all kinds of things going on in May. So... Glad to be starting with June and, and maybe getting back on track with the filming of the budget. I was still doing my budget and still doing cash stuffing and uh, even the savings challenges, but I just didn't have time to film and edit and post all those. So uh, let's just get started here with the pay budget by paycheck. This is a free on my Google Sheets down below uh, in the description. I have a budget by paycheck worksheet and also a monthly uh, budget worksheet. They're very similar, it, just the budget, the monthly one, you would just put everything for your whole month there. And then I had the cash breakdown, I already filled that out. Um, so let's just get started. So the first, uh, I think I hear my son talking. <laughs> Maybe not. Um, the income will be here in this box. Let me see, let me zoom you guys in. Okay, there we go. So this one will be for the paycheck of 614, and that will cover anything from 614 through 619. I get paid every other Thursday, and my husband gets paid every other Friday on opposite weeks. So we end up getting paid weekly. So this week will be the Friday paycheck for my husband, and then the next one we get will be mine for the 19th. So what we're budgeting now, I already knew that, what his total was, he did get some 
excellent, excellent, excellent overtime. So this is higher, way higher than normal. So very fortunate to have this extra money. So I'll be putting some extra in our sinking funds. You'll see in just a minute. So, cause I had already mapped all this out at the beginning of the month in June and I didn't estimate this. I estimated the, the base pay that he would get with no overtime. So anything extra for this paycheck will go in these different areas that I selected for the sinking funds. Okay, so twenty one ninety four is what we're gonna budget. It's twenty one ninety four and fifty one cents. So I just leave the change there and we'll do the twenty one ninety four is what we'll put in our budget. And I always do a cushion. And that is twenty five dollars. I do that per paycheck just to leave it in our checking account for anything that maybe um Maybe a bill was higher than what was expected, or maybe I went over a little bit in the Walmart bill, or maybe even a little bit over in gas, or maybe we had an online purchase, you know, we need to pick up something, order something that wasn't, uh, I didn't have time to put cash in there for, you know, it just kind of covers those little ones like that. I do put the cash in from my binders uh, for each category. If we order something online, say if I order something, uh, from Sam's or something, I would use money from my Sam's envelope and put that in my checking account and to cover the cost for that. The same thing if it was like a membership or a subscription that came due, then that will take the money out, put it in there. Same situation there. Um, yeah, for all those. The Walmart and gas, we use those with our debit card or, or credit card and then we pay that back uh, with the money that's in the checking account. So. State Farm was going to be two fifty six. That's for one of our State Farm bills. That's for my oldest son. We do pay that right now until he gets he's finishing up with his master's this year. So he he's doing an, an accelerated program. So he will get to finish his master's in one year instead of two. So he wanted to go ahead and do that, and uh, so we will continue to pay his insurance until he gets you know established, gets a full-time job, gets established, gets a steady income, and then he would take over that bill. And uh, we have them on our cell phone plan too, so. Internet is 24, water is roughly 55. And uh, I use Walmart and, and gas out of our debit card and I put this up here in the fixed expenses so that I can keep track with it that way and everything down here in variable is cash. So 260 for that for Walmart and then gas is 200 right now but we may start going over a little bit I'm not sure with the mowing whenever we mow we have several acres to mow so uh, I don't know how that's gonna work but maybe when I get into another vehicle it'll kind of balance out a little bit hopefully. <laughs> And then down, okay, let's add these up. Let's see what our total is here for our um, variable expenses. Can you guys say, okay. Okay. 820. That's our total there. And then we will subtract that from the nine, uh, 2,194. That leaves us with 1374 to work with down here. Okay, and this is our variable expenses. This is, uh, well, actually all of these are the envelopes that go in my wallet. Uh, the food envelope is not all of our groceries. Like that's, that'll be up here in our Walmart. Uh, this is just if I need to pick up something at a local, um, a smaller grocery, cho grocery store chain or, um, fast food or something like that. We just do 50 there. And church is 45, me 40, hubby 150. And I, I separate that out because that's just kind of like my me money for my personal items that I want to buy just, you know, that I don't have to have. It's just the wants, not the necessities. But then like self-care and miscellaneous and fun and, and kids, I kind of use all that, you know, as my money too, so self-care where all of his is in one self-care was 40 fun 20 miscellaneous 20 kids 30 dogs 25 and meds 15. okay let's add this up to see what we have here okay 
435. Okay. 435. I'm going to subtract that from 1374. That leaves us with 939. Ooh, I love that. That's what we'll get to put in our sinking funds. That's awesome. So, sinking funds, these are the categories that I'm going to be stuffing this paycheck. I added some because I don't normally stuff all these in, in every single paycheck. So, um, I was able to add some. So, that's always good whenever you have the extra income. Okay, Sam's 25, emergency 10, memberships and subscriptions 20, car tags 15, uh, lease land 15, UT tickets 70, land tax for the land that we own is 5, birthdays and gifts 25, to bump, bump that up a little bit, uh, my youngest son's turning 18 this month, so we will be doing a birthday gift for him and maybe a cookout or something like that, and have fr friends and family over. Car maintenance, 40. Home maintenance, 40. Landscaping, I'm going to do 150 because we are going to a nursery. It's, about a, it's probably about an hour away. We're going to go and load up with it. some things that I've been saving up for. I've got some more money to go with this. That uh, We built our house in uh, 2019, and I have not um, added any shrubs or... I've done a few, we've done the landscaping rock and we've, you know, done the edging around and we've got all the, we have river rock put down. So that was our project last year. We just done, you know, do it in stages because we, it was a pretty big chunk of money. So, uh, and I had a little bit left, so I'm saving up now for the, the shrubs and a few flowers. I planted a few things in there and I have, um, some things around. We have a flagpole in the front yard, so I do have, and with some river rock around that also so I, I have planted some things there but as far as like the bigger items the shrubs and the stuff that goes in my walk for the walkway like well we call it I guess it's monkey grass is what we call it I know it's probably got a different name than that and even maybe like some hostas some low lines some of the cheaper things I guess that I can put for the ground cover for the for the walkway the low line stuff so uh, I'm I've only done a few things out there, so but I, I really enjoy working outside in the flowers, and that's what I was talking about. Summers are a lot busier, and we have a garden too, so if you notice that I'm kind of MIA sometimes, that I, maybe I, I miss a video or something, that's why, but I'm going to try to stay on track, <laughs> but I love being outside, so, and I'm working overtime too, so, <laughs> uh, trying to do all the things. Travel 100. That's for, you know, weekend travels to go see my son or if we do travel ball with my stepdaughter. And then whenever we go for the weekend uh, UT football games, so those will start in the fall. So we want to keep putting money into that. And then here's 300 is going to go to the SUV. So that is awesome. And 40 for Christmas. And then what was remaining was the $84 and that'll be for many Mondays. All right, let's add this up and see what our total is here. Okay, yep, 939. Perfect. So you see that leaves us with zero. That's a zero-based budget. So what we'll do here is do our final totals at the bottom. The total income was $21.94. And the expenses will be the fixed expenses and the variable expenses. So let's add those. Let me zoom out just a little bit. So it was $820 plus $435 was our expenses. Oh, well, that's not right. $820 plus $435. $1354. And then our savings and sinking funds was 939. And we did not have any debt payments this um, paycheck. So let's see what we have the zero based budget. Income minus expenses minus sinking funds and savings equals, well, 2194. Let's 
Well, I've messed up somewhere, y'all. Well, that's a good thing that we have that to double check. Hmm. Okay, the expenses, that's where I messed up. Sorry about that. So 820 plus 435, 1255. Okay, let's try this again. So income minus expenses minus sinking funds, zero, perfect, okay. All right, so now that we have our budget uh, set up and we're ready to go, we will, this is do the cash breakdown. This is from the simple budget. This is just a sheet to show which denominations I would like for each category. So I just wrote down my variable expenses here and then over here my sinking funds. I wrote those out. And the amount that I want in those and then the denomination that I need. And then I totaled that up at the bottom, and the total is $13.74. And then I used this little sheet from the Budget Mom, the little uh, teller slip, to take to the bank. And they will give me the denominations that I need. So we'll put that there, and we'll take that to the bank and get the cash out. And I'll come back, and I will do our cash stuffing for the second paycheck in June. So I think that's it, you guys. I hope you all have had a great week and I will see you guys on the next one for the cash stuffing. And then on Monday, we'll do some mini Monday savings challenges. So I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks.